Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure that you hit the old subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So um, I'm testing out a new microphone. I need you guys to tell me how it sounds because I can only do so much. I need to know if you guys think it needs uh, needs a little bit of ups or downs or mids or whatever. Let me know what you think. I think I think it's a good microphone, but I just I got to make sure it's dialed in right. But anyway, last episode, last time we were together, uh, we did some stuff with uh, Astral Sorcery. We got ourselves a luminous, I'm sorry, a starlight crafting table. Uh, and then in a live stream in between, we also did some stuff in here in the Wizard Tower. Uh, so let's go this way and we will go upstairs. Uh, to this room, we uh, we did some stuff with uh, with uh, some falling sand and falling shale to make aquamarine. I've since kind of closed it in. I've also got a place here where we have a constructor that uh, places the shale that we get, uh, and then a destructor that destroys it. It's got a fortune upgrade in it so that it will give us all of the aquamarine. And then uh, we well, we'll get to that in a minute. And then uh, we did some stuff out here. We made a balcony because if you recall from the previous episode, this does not work if it doesn't have access to the sky. I also tried to put in glass blocks up there, up above, and uh, that didn't seem to help out either. Uh, I don't know if it was because I was trying to use black glass, uh, just black colored glass, vanilla glass, not like a modded dark glass or anything like that, just black colored glass, and it didn't seem to work either. So I decided to move it outside, and uh, to do that, we built this little balcony in a live stream. I think the balcony looks pretty good. I don't think it looks completely uh, out of place. If we go over here a wee little bit, uh, it looks like it's it looks like it's okay. I think I think it fits. Uh, and we'll do some more of those kind of off to the sides a little bit in different places to uh, to kind of give the the wizard tower a little bit of character. Uh, and then we did, and then we do we're trying to hello. You're supposed to be black. Why are you not black? Oh dear. So. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we did we did do some stuff with chisels and bits. We were trying to figure out a way to make this look good. We said, ooh, iron trap doors against the black behind would look really cool, but iron trap doors, when you place iron trap doors uh, on a wall, um, they, they just do that. <laughs> so you had to have redstone there to make it work uh, the proper way. And, uh, hello? Oh, you got picked up, dang it. Uh, I'll have to see if I can figure out a way to get that back. Um, so you have to have redstone, and we were like, well, what about redstone blocks? And then uh, the redstone blocks, well, those show on the outside. So we'll have to do something on the outside here to, de to decorate that. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do just yet. Um, but we did this because the other thing that we were going to try to do is there's a, uh, there is a wand from Astral Sorcery that will allow us to do like, uh, like building, like a builder's wand. Uh, let's see if we can find it here real quick. It is the, uh, it's an astral, uh, at astral uh, wand. It is this one here. It's the, it's the formation wand. It builds a line of blocks towards the player. Um, but to get that, you have to have star metal. We've got everything else. We've got the, we've got the dyes. We've got the, the marble. We've got everything else, but we don't have any stardust. And to get stardust, uh, you have to have a, uh, a star metal ingot. So stardust, whoops, I just completely erased that. Stardust uh, comes from a star metal ingot, it, also from star metal ore. Um, but when we uh, when we were getting ready to try it, uh, the, apparently the version of Minecraft, the version of the uh, Enigmatica six pack that we that we were playing in, um, did not support star metal yet. So I have updated the pack. We are now on version four point eight of the Enigmatica six uh, pack, and, and so that being the case, we now need uh, we now need to get some star metal. Uh, but in order to get star metal, we actually have to change our ore processing thing because uh, it's trying, uh, that's nickel, um, it's trying to process all of the iron that we get. And so we need to make it not process, uh, we need to make it not process iron. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, then once we have some iron in our system, uh, can we just do this? Can we see if we have iron in the system? Iron. No, we need a piece of iron ore and we need a piece of iron ore that we can place next to one of the uh, astral sorcery crystals um, that are in the big temples. Now there is, oh, I just updated the pack and I don't have 
any of my, I don't have any of my waypoints, but over that way, oh wait, hold on, wait, ah, uh, hold on, wait, there's probably a way to do this, hang on, go up here, right here, and then go over here, yes, and then, aha, astral temple, so right here, we have an astral temple, and uh, if we place iron ore blocks down there, then uh, then we should be able to get uh, we should be able to get some um, some star metal. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and let this uh, let my system run for a little bit. We got bees that are making um, we got bees that are making uh, that are making iron and all that other good stuff, and we should get iron ore chunks, uh, and then iron ore chunks can be turned back into iron ore, and then I should be able to place those down here, and we should be able to get. Uh, some star metal. So let me do that for a little bit. I'll come back to you in just a minute and we'll see what we uh, see what we come up with. Iron ore acquired. Now I got to remember how we are supposed to do this. So I should have a book. Yes, uh, I have a book and in the book we should be able to do uh, some things to make uh, to make this. I think it's in here. Is it in here? Yeah. So star metal star dust. Uh, so in, while star metal has many applicator, or applications for channeling starlight, the dust from star metal is even more reactive. Due to the magical energy contained with it, the metal is both simultaneously hard and soft. While it can sustain direct impact with little deformation, attempting to grind or cut it results in metal behaving more like a putty and smearing out of shape. Disrupting this magical energy uh, is uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you get uh, star metal dust from star metal ore. Star metal ore is created by placing an iron ore, only iron ore limestone? That can't possibly be right. That can't possibly be right, can it? Uh-huh. Star metal cutting tool. Um... Yeah, so we need to place a piece of this down there. And then we need to link it somehow, right? Is it the resonating tool? It might be the resonating tool. Where's my resonating tool? Is it in my backpack? Uh, that's my linking tool. I think that's the, that might actually be the one that I want. So link you and you link to block. Yes, and then turned it into star metal. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we'll do that over here as well. Yes, please. Please, yes, please. Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. We'll do another one, say, right there. Or place another one over here. Because that's so cool. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. And then if we use a hammer on that, we should be able to get star metal dust. Right? I think I have a hammer with me, right? So star metal dust. Star metal dust. We can use the hammer. Yes. Is there any way to get more? Can we put it through like a crushing wheel? Nope, that just gives us one. Uh, occultism, starlight infusion. Oh, starlight infusion we can make with iron dust. Oh, it's starlight infusion we can make it. Okay, that's probably where we're going to end up being. Today, what I want to do is I want to get that wand of formation. So let's see if we can break this. Yes, we can. Nice. Oh, and that completes a quest. So that's cool. We'll get those. And that should leave us with six more. So we'll do like that, like that. I don't think it really matters where you put these, but uh, it will take just a minute to do this. Um... But once we're done with this, then we can take this back to the base and we can try to, uh, oh, oh, well, okay. It's doing all of them. It did three of them at a time. I approve of this message. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And then we should be able to place these last two down and it should do those, yes. And that'll give us all uh, that'll give us all the star metal that we can make at this point in time. By the time we get back to the base, we should have more iron ore chunks uh, that we can use, which will be cool. But that, uh, that is that. So I'm going to head back to the base now, which is uh, right here someplace. There it is. So we'll go back to the base, back to home sweet home. That'll work. Uh, and now we should be able to make uh, the... 
uh, we should be able to make the uh, the wand. So starlight crafting table, yes. Uh, we should be able to make, whoops, I think that might've been it. Uh, the formation wand, yeah. So we need some purple dye. We need some ruined marble. We need three pieces of ruined marble. So let's see what we have. Do we have purple dye? Purple dye. No, but I can create it. So I need two. Yes, please. Missing flowers. Okay. So that glitch is still in this version of the pack. We're going to have to come down here and we're going to have to break our, uh, break our controller and then put our controller back. And there's a, apparently there's a redstone way that you can automatically get that to work. I haven't done it yet, uh, but doing that now, we should have access to purple dye now. Yes, because now it has said, now it says we have flowers. So those are being stored in a crafting or not in a crafting drawer, but in a storage drawer out in our greenhouse. And the, the storage drawers are being interfaced with via a, uh, a storage bus from um, from refined storage. Uh, I needed two of those though. So give me one, oh, just give me one more of those. Yes, please. Uh, that takes care of that. So now we have those. We can probably get rid of that. We can probably get rid of that. That's all stuff that I had uh, from uh, working on the base, working on the wizard tower. We need to send this. Actually, we need just need two of those. We need a oh, uh, hammer. Where's my hammer? Is my hammer in here? No, is my hammer in here? I think I have a hammer. I do, I have two of them as a matter of fact. So we'll get that, we'll break these down real quick. Oh wait, it doesn't, you don't do it like that. No, do it like this. There we go. And then we take two of these, one, two, and we put the hammer in there with it. One, two, and that gets us two pieces of star metal dust, nice. And then we just need some ruined marble. So ruined marble, we need three pieces, I have four. That's fine. Uh, and then we need to go upstairs. Hopefully it's nighttime. I don't think it is though. Could be. No, it's not. It is not nighttime because what we'll have to do is we'll have to put this into our uh, into our starlight crafting table right here. Oh, we need to build the base for this too. Oh no. Oh, I forgot all about that. Uh, okay, so book, uh, book, where's my book? There it is. So now that we've got that, we need to build we need to build the starlight crafting table thingy dingy. Uh, attunement, exploration, it might be exploration. Is it exploration? Starlight crafting altar, yes. Yeah, it needs one of these. So uh, what do we need here? It looks like we need one starlight crafting altar, eight chiseled marble, 28 marble arch, 24 marble bricks, 21 sooty marble, and eight marble pillars. So here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to, I've got lots of marble. I'm gonna have to create all of these different types of marble. I think I've got most of them, but let me make a list here real quick and I'll, uh, I'll sort through, uh, like if I go in here right now, marble. See, I have, I have a fair bit of marble. I don't have a ton, but I have a fair bit of marble and I probably have most of what I need. But let me uh, let me craft up the ones that I don't need because basically that's just a manipulation. Might even be able to use a chisel on. I don't know. I know you used to be able to use a chisel, but let me uh, let me get this all together uh, and I'll put this together someplace and then I'll come back to you and we'll we'll show you how to do uh, we'll show you how to do the infusion or I guess it's not an infusion, but the altar um, to uh, to get this wand and then that will probably. Uh, that will probably get us just about wrapped up for the day. So hang tight. What? What is? What is that? I was just getting ready to build. I was just getting ready to build the uh, uh, the <laughs> the astral temple out here, and this music started. I don't even know what it is. It's got a catchy rhythm to it, though. Anyway, back to building. Okay, so nighttime cometh and uh, the altar is built. I don't think this is gonna be the permanent home of the altar. This just seemed like a, a decent place. I was kind of hoping, we were kind of talking in a live stream once about possibly putting all of the astral sorcery stuff or a big part of it uh, up on top of the tower, like maybe even build extra towers. Ooh, now that could be a thing. We could build like a tower there. We could build a tower over there. We could build a tower over there. We could build a tower over there and have like four towers with one central tower that has the uh, the astral sorcery stuff. That could be a cool thing. But anyway, now that we've got nighttime, uh, we should be able to place that and then we should be able to do this. And ooh, it's getting, I mean, it's getting some starlight. That's cool. 
That's cool, right? So wand, um, the wand of formation is the one that we're looking for. So the wand of formation, formation wand, there it is. So it's uh, purple, purple, all that. Okay, so uh, purple, purple, and then this, and then these, one, two, three. Looks like we have enough to do it. So resonating wand to the rescue. That's awesome. I love the animations. I absolutely love the animations from Astral Sorcery. That is so cool. Uh, I know that this, for me, this appears to be kind of loud. Um, I'll edit that out in in post, but uh, I think this is going to be a, I think this is going to be a good spot. Um, whoops. So as far as actual starlight goes, we're actually not doing bad. Like, can I get a full? Uh, I suspect that once that gets to the full dead on midnight, that that will. Basic, I'm hoping that that'll fill that up pretty good, yeah? I think it will. Um, anyway, so now we have this formation wand, right? And this formation wand should make it so that we can build, uh, so that we can build some different, uh, some different things. So let's go into, let's go into the wizard tower. We'll go up here. Now that we actually have flight, we can just go wherever we want. We don't have to worry about going through, in through regular doors, regular doors like plebs. Um, anyway, so formation wand. Let's read up on the formation wand just a little bit. Uh, here we go. So formation wand. Formation wand. Crystal tools, formation wand. Do I have a, yeah, formation, no. How about if I zoom out? That's exploration. It might be under attunement, yeah? Nah, it won't be under attunement, I don't think. Attunement has to do with, like, galaxies and stuff, if I remember right. Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. Linking tool, we've already done that. Construction wands, aha! Construction wands. So we've got that one, uh, the formation, the conversion wand. Both the, both the conversion and formation wands uh, shift right clicking a block will configure the block they will use from the wielder's inventory up. Oh. Okay, so basically what we need then is we need some blocks in our inventory. So let's just get, uh, we'll go, no, does it, oh, will it work from the dank? Will it pull blocks from the dank? That's a good, that's a good question. Um, let's take one of these, right? We'll take one astral sorcery block. And we'll come down here to us a ground. And you know what we'll do? We'll make it daytime because nighttime's hard on recording and, and all that other good stuff in some cases. So we'll just go ahead and we'll make it daytime because uh, we can do that pretty easy. So we'll make it we'll make it daytime. We'll go down to the ground and we'll test this thing out and see if it'll pull blocks from the inventory. If it will not pull blocks from the inventory, that is uh, that is a little bit unfortunate. Um, a little bit unfortunate, just a little. Uh, yeah, this, this space will be fine. So we'll go like this and we'll just do that. Okay, then it says to shift right click with the formation wand. That does not seem to work. Hmm, okay. So we'll go into the bag then and we'll grab a stack. Um, okay, I completed that a long time ago. Oh, I updated, that's why. All right, hello. Shift right click, yeah. Is that the resonating one? That's a resonating one. You dummy. You dummy. All right, let's put these back in. Let's put these back in here and see if it works. That's the linking tool. Where's that formation one at? It's right there. So do that. Nope. There are so many mobs underneath the ground right now, it's not even funny. Uh, the fact that I have starlight working in my inventory that may be a thing too um let's get some more of these i suppose we'll just do 32. oh see yeah it only works if you have the blocks in, in your inventory but as long as i'm looking at that it looks like it will do it looks like it'll do a pretty good job yeah oh yeah that works Yeah, that'll do. So then I can do this again and I can build a wall. Not that I really want to. Okay, so that is, is that just the maximum or is that just the number of blocks that I have? Let's get another, oh, that'll work. 
Yeah, so it'll only build to there. So that's what? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like it'll only build ten blocks. But hey, you know what? Ten blocks is ten blocks, right? So that's kind of cool. Um, I kind of like that. All right, let me tear this down because I can. And uh, let's see what else we can get into today because that actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. And I'd like to, uh, I think I'd like to do some more building up here. I, first thing I want to figure out is what happened to my chiseled sooty bricks because I had sooty marble bricks here. Um, sooty marble stairs. Do sooty marble stairs even, they do still exist. They may not be able to be chiseled, though. Uh, do I have in my in my inventory chiseled bit marble stair east? Uh, let's put uh, let's put all this. Let's put all this. Oh man, we got so much stuff in our inventory. It's not even funny. Uh, put that away. 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 That that that. Sure, man. These mobs, I'll tell you what, these mobs in this pack are no joke. They drop all kinds of stupid stuff. And uh, if you're not careful, you will load up your inventory. Uh, anyway, so we want this back. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll put these back in there. And then can I fill this back in? I could. Uh, I could also draw, I could also draw a region. So uh, alt draw region. Yes, please. So I want to go from there. Let's go from right here. There we go, just like that. Oh, well, that didn't work out. So that didn't work out nearly as well as I would like to. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me see if I can break these, turn them into bits, and then we'll uh, and then we'll see if we can re-chisel this stuff. Hang tight for just a minute. OK, I think I figured out what's going on. Basically, what's happening is, is it's it's looking at these as chiseled stairs. I didn't know you could even chisel stairs. But if I put these pieces back in, watch what happens to this it turns into a stair block, a marble stair block. And it does that for all of these. So I'm not sure exactly why that happened. Oh, I'm out of bits. Uh, okay, so you're gonna be my one oddball. That's fine. Uh, and then I put these back in, the sooty, the sooty marble brick. And we should be able then to, um, we should be able to do some chiseling on this, I think, by using the chisel. And that's set for draw region. So if I go, if I set this right, I think I want to set it to there. So there. Maybe it's not set for draw region. Draw region. Ah, draw region. Yeah. Let's try this one more time. So if I go like that, yeah, that's it. That's what we want. And we go up to that block right there. Yeah, that's what that's supposed to look like. Uh, and we and we did this in the live stream, and everybody was like, "Yeah, that looks pretty good." So you guys will have to tell me what you think uh, down in the comments. But I think I'm going to go ahead and finish that up now that I figured out what was happening with those blocks. Apparently, when we updated it, it just there was a, a metadata change or something that uh, that changed those blocks to chiseled stair blocks for whatever reason. Um, well, hopefully that will not be the case uh, going forward. Like this, hopefully this will be the only time that this occurs. But uh, it looks to be a pretty easy fix uh, just simply by doing this. And I think I went to there. Yeah, that's right. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. Anyway, all right. So that's going to do it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. 
The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments uh, right down here, right down there in the comment section below. We'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff. We'll chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Um, don't forget that we live stream every Monday, every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv slash rb underscore plays. The link for that will be down in the doobly-doo below. Uh, you are all invited to come on over there and check us out as we do all the grindy things that are part of this pack. Because believe me when I tell you that there are many, many grindy things that we have to do in this pack. But once again, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our merch store to help support the channel. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later.